very little amount of proper chocolate cocoa in it. So what I wanted you to do was actually taste. So this is actually only a 50. So if you just take one of these, cal these are called calories, these little buttons. Okay. So this is a just over 50% chocolate. This is a milk chocolate, so this has actually got cream added into it now. So, but some more, some more of the um, the cocoa powder to reduce it. So this is only thirty odd percent chocolate. Woo! Okay. <laughs> no harm done. There's a nine second rule in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm telling you, if you go to a restaurant, if it's on the floor for less than nine seconds, it'll serve you. It's a five second Yeah. It's just, it's just make it up. <laughs> and this is white chocolate, which actually has no cocoa in it. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is more just like a pure cocoa butter with cream in it. I don't know why I want this. Yeah! <laughs> Imagine the taste of the difference if you buy Cadbury's chocolate because what they want to do is have a small amount of cocoa in it and a lot of extra stuff to pad it out because they get a bigger profit. Mm -hmm. Then um, they'll mix it with other products or put more cream in it or a low grade type cocoa or extra cocoa powder. So manufacturers will actually blend it, but I only work with pure Belgian chocolate and I'll work up to a 90% chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate doesn't mix with water. So if you in the future work with any chocolate and you melt it down, um, this chocolate isn't in temper, which is why it's that dusty colour. So you know sometimes you can buy, I know that fountains do it, and they, they sell the bags of truffles off cheap. And when you open them up, they're all dusty coloured. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The only problem is, is that the chocolate wasn't in what's called temper properly. So this is a science process that you have to do with chocolate. And when you get it right, it gives you that, that shiny colour and it gives you the snap. So that's what you would get with those truffles that I've made earlier on. Um, but you can pour a lot of cream onto chocolate, which is what we're going to do to make the ganache. Now the ganache, as all as we're going to do today, is make a basic ganache. I've brought some flavourings with me so that you can flavour it. And then we're going to let it chill and we'll talk a little bit more about chocolate. And then what you're going to do is roll them into little balls and the smaller you want, right size big, and the more that you make and take away with you. And I've brought some bags and some other things to take away with you. And then I've also brought various different things that you can actually coat them in. Um, so because we only have a small amount of time, I'm not actually going to temper any chocolate today. Um, to, because that would take quite a while because you've got to reach certain temperatures to make it all temper and we can talk through that when we've done that. So the only other thing that you need to know is that because of the percentage of cocoa inside these, these calories, this chocolate, it means that um, you'll use a different amount of cream for it. So that high percentage chocolate you'll do a one-to-one -one ratio. So one gram of chocolate or 100 grams of chocolate is 100 grams of cream. Mm. You want a double cream and you want it as a high fat percent content as possible. There's absolutely no skin in having truffles. <laughs> okay. You'll slightly reduce the amount of cream that you use for a milk chocolate. And you'll probably use something like 50% cream to your white chocolate. Otherwise, this will become very runny, which is absolutely fine if you're putting it into a shell. Yeah. Um, but it won't, you won't be able to roll it to make truffles. Mm -hmm. If you make truffles away, and when you go away, and if it's too runny, 
just in the microwave, about 30 second bursts until the chocolate melts and keeps stirring it. Just 30 second bursts, keep just melting down a little bit of chocolate and then slowly add your ganache back into that chocolate and then it'll thicken it up because you've added a, a more of a chocolate content into it and then that'll make it rollable. You don't actually have to roll chocolate, you can actually just pop it into a tin um, and you can actually slice it and just leave it as it is, you don't have to cover it or do anything. Or well, you could just eat it whole. <laughs> you can actually just take the bowl and the spoon <laughs> and you can eat it. Or your thumb, your fingers if you do. Okay. So what I've got is a heap of cream that needs a shake. And I've brought a couple of jugs to go into the microwave. And we've already weighed out 150 grams of chocolate into these dishes. So we've got two dishes with a darker chocolate in. And we've got, and if you don't want these ones, we can change it around. We've got three dishes with white chocolate in. Um, we've got, I don't know how many, that means five. <laughs> we've got five dishes with the milk chocolate in. Okay? So, we need a spoon. I've got, I've got spoons. And um, what, what we need to do is measure this. So, what I was going to do was just do um, one lot of 300 in here. And it just needs to be heated for a minute, stirred, reheated. And what you want is you don't want it to boil up and burn, but you want it hot because what we're going to do is pour this hot cream over that chocolate. We're going to let it sit for a minute or so to soften the chocolate, and then you're going to start blending it all together to make your ganache. And it's as simple as that. Woo! The ganache is it's a it's a chocolate-based cream blend. And it's what is in the centre of a truffle that you would buy. So you know when you buy chocolates from the shop, you bite into it, and it's got a it's called a truffle centre, mm. and it, it's made of chocolate. The ganache is the centre of that chocolate. But the only thing is, is that as I've done with these ones here, I've moulded these and decorated them. You just hand roll your ganache. So there's there's two different ganaches in there. But I could do that because I've moulded those. Okay. Wow. Um, and this is um, a special edition chocolate that I've made just for Valerie to fundraise for the Garcia. And in here we have wow. we have a truffle, hmm. um, and it's hand painted green because green I um, understand was Valerie's favourite colour. I made the green flour and in the top half of the truffle there is some vanilla with tonka bean because that's one of her favourite flavours and tonka beans a really expensive beautiful product that enhances the flavour of anything and then I've put a little bit of white chocolate in it and then at the bottom there's a white straw 